Hello students, myself Antara Ghoshal, Assistant Professor of EC Department of Guru Nanak Institute of Technology. This is my lecture series on RF and Microwave Engineering. And the subject code is EC701. Course name is RF and Microwave Engineering and the total lectures for these subjects are 34. There are some course objectives. First one is distinguish the RF and microwave spectrum, planar transmission lines and high frequency circuit elements. Determine the microwave passive components and scattering matrix for representation. Third course objective is illustrate the microwave tubes, semiconductor microwave devices. Fourth course objective is justify the microwave application and typical microwave test bench. Now there are some course outcome means after completion of this subject the students will be able to understand the microwave frequency range and their application. Develop fundamental understanding of the two port RF network and matching techniques. Third one is learn the scattering parameter scattering matrix for microwave passive components. They will understand the microwave tubes and devices along with their fundamental principles of operation. And the last one, learn the microwave measurement techniques. All these are course outcome of this subject. Now, in first module, there are different topics. They, uh, for in first, there is introduction to RF and microwave spectrum, which I have been discussed already in previous class. And uh, today, we will discuss about typical application of RF and microwave in radar and missile and uh, safety considerations of RF and microwave. There are also another different topics in this module one. Now, what, what are the application of RF and microwave? There are different applications like in communication, commercial applications, navigation, radar, heating and power applications, security and medical issue use now if we consider the first point that is communication before the advent of fiber optic transmission most long distances telephone calls were carried out via networks of microwave radio delay links using uh, FDM. Also, wireless LAN protocols such as Bluetooth and the IEEE 802.11 specification, which also use microwaves in the 2.4 gigahertz ISM band. Also, they are uh, in wireless internet access, that is IEEE 802.11a which also use microwaves at 3.4 gigahertz range. All these are in communication. Now, uh, also there are different another uh, application in communication like um, metropolitan area network that is MAN protocols such as WiMAX that is worldwide interoperability for microwave access which is based on standards 
such as IEEE 802.16, which is designed to operate between 2 to 11 gigahertz. Next is mobile broadband wireless access, that is MBWA. That protocols based on standard specification such as IEEE 802.20, which operate between 1.6 to 2.3 gigahertz. Also, there are many other applications, uh, micro application in communication, like um, mobile phone networks, like GSM. Use the low microwave or high ultra high frequencies around 1.8 and 1.9 gigahertz in the America and uh, elsewhere. Okay. Now, most set also uh, in satellite communication, uh, the, there are application of microwave, but most satellite communication system operate in the C, X, K, and K, U bands, which I have discussed in previous classes of this microwave spectrum. Satellite and TV either operates in the C band for the traditional large dish fixed satellite service or KU band for direct broadcast satellite. Next, in military communication, also microwave, microwave RF and microwave application can be seen that military, in military communications uh, run uh, primarily over X or uh, KU band links. Next is commercial applications. Commercial applications are uh, in the 2.3 gigahertz, 2.5 gigahertz, 3.5 gigahertz, and 5.8 gigahertz range. The ISM band, which is used in industry, science, and medicine band. Next is navigation that global navigation satellite system that that is gnss broadcast navigational signals in various bands between about 1.2 gigahertz to and uh, 1.6 gigahertz these also include the chinese the american global positioning system and the Russian LONASS, G-L-O-N-A-S-S. -S. Next is radar. The radar also use microwave radiation to detect the range, speed, and other characteristics of the remote objects. Also, um, for weather prediction, geological uh, survey for natural resource explanation, exploration and air traffic control road traffic surveillance etc next heating and power application a microwave oven which is well known to all of us that, a, that microwave uses use microwave radiation at a frequency near 2.45 gigahertz. Dielectric heating through energy absorption. And uh, third one is uh, microwave heating is used in industrial processes for drying and curing products. Next is security for security purposes. In security, in case of security, RFID based identification system is used. Uh, also, motion detectors also used in the uh, the in security purpose. Next, last one is medical use for medical use. Uh, photoacoustic imaging that is in ultrasound. There are also microwaves are used 
CT scan, X-ray, MRI, like in, like imaging. Uh, also thermotherapy, laser therapy, which in which microbes are used, and uh, can, for cancer treatment, also microbes can be used. Yeah, there is a uh, table like uh, where uh, are the microwave application like in communication, radar, industrial and biomedical and heating. In, in communication, terrestrial and satellite communication, radar in civilian case or in uh, military case. In civilian case, air traffic control, aircraft navigation, safe safety, space vehicles, remote sensing, law enforcement, or in military surveillance, navigation, guidance of weapons, electronic warfare. In uh, industrial and biomedical application, there are different types of application. And in case of heating, there are also industrial and household applications are there. Now, what are the applications of RF and microwave in case of radar? Radar means radio detection and ranging. And in missile, a radar is uh, radar is a system for detecting the presence, direction, distance, and speed of aircraft or ships and uh, any other objects by sending out pulses of radio waves which are reflected off the object and back to the source. The time delay between the transmitted pulse and the received echo can be used to determine the distance to the target. The, this is the basic principle of operation of radio. There is a transmitter and a receiver. There is a switch and then the, there is an antenna. There is an antenna and this is the radar pulse and this is the radar and that is the object. And uh, here data recorder is there, then processor and display. Now, what is the function of transmitter that generate radio waves and uh, perform modulation and amplification to high power? Then what is the function of receiver? That receiver is high sensitivity with very low noise and, uh, and the receiver is able to find out a received signal from background noise and uh, the processing and control it regulates the rate at which pulses are sent and they synchronize the function between transmitter receiver display and uh, duplexer etc now what is a duplexer? Duplexer, uh, here, uh, duplexer uh, is a switch to alternatively connect transmitter and a receiver to antenna. And uh, this antenna is takes, takes radar pulses from transmitter and puts into the air focuses energy into the oil design beam and antenna uh, they, these antenna their uh, antennas are of two types physically moving or electronically steered now there is a display and display received the information uh, to the operator
there are main two there are two main types of radar primary radar and secondary radar this is the radar range equation that is uh, this is transmitter and this is the receiver and that is the object uh, what are the radar range equation that is pr equal to pt gt sigma aer by 4 pi r square whole square that is equal to pt gt gr sigma lambda square by 4 pi whole to the power q r to the power 4. Here that pt is the transmit power, pr is the receiver power, received power, gt is transmitting antenna gain, gr is receiving antenna gain, segment uh, radar cross section in meter square and AR is the effective aperture area of receiving antenna. That is radar range equation. Now the application of radar. Here in military, the target detection radar is used for target detection, target tracking, and weapon control. Also, it tracks the targets, directs the weapon to an interrupt, and access the effectiveness of engagement. In a remote sensing radar also used that is for weather observation or planetary observation or below ground probing. Next is air traffic control. Here the radar is used to safely control air traffic in the vicinity of the airport. Mapping of regions of rain in the vicinity of airports and weather also for that purpose radars are used. Next is law enforcement and highway safety. Here, this is a radar speed meter. This radar speed meter also used by police for enforcing speed limit. Next is aircraft safety and navigation. Airborne weather avoidance radar outlines the regions of precipitation and uh, precip uh, region of precipitation and uh, dangerous wind shear. And uh, the low flying military aircrafts rely on terrain avoidance and uh, terrain following radars to avoid collision with high terrain and obstruction. For ship safety, also radar can be used. Radar is found on ships and boats for collision avoidance and to observe navigation bios when the visibility is poor. And uh, the shore-based radars which are used for surveillance of harbors and river traffic. 
in space also radar radars are used at space vehicles which have used a radar for landing on the moon and other planets also radar are used for uh, planetary exploration grounded base radars are used for detection and tracking of satellite and other space objects and also it, uh, used for radio astronomy for mine space inspection radar can be used or locating underground pipes for that purpose also radar can be used also there are some other microwave radar application homeland security application for detection of hidden weapons and explosives for that purpose radar can be used detecting non metallic weapons personal screening of envelopes for bacteria or chemist bio detection for the all these purpose radar can be used there are also another uh, application like uh, terahertz image scan reveal object concealed under cloth paper tape even behind walls next topic is safety consideration of this rf and micro application rf and micro now for that first we have to know what is sar that is specific absorption rate this is a measure of the rate at which energy is absorbed by the human body when exposed to a radio frequency electromagnetic field now this specific absorption rate that is sar equal to sigma e square by md w per kg now here that sigma is the conductivity e is electric field intensity and md is mass density Now, microwaves are used in the scientific and industrial application as well as military and civilian world. But there are some adverse effects of high power microwave radiation. These are hazard of electromagnetic radiation to personnel. That is H E R P. And second one is hazard of electromagnetic radiation to ordnance that is h e r o and uh, third one is hazard of electromagnetic radiation to fuel uh, these uh, h all of h e r p that is hazard of electromagnetic radiation to fu uh, hazard of uh, electromagnetic radiation to personnel that is the um, potential of electromagnetic radiation to produce harmful biological effects in humans hazards of these microwave radiation personal range from personal range from uh, leukemia to sterility there is also the possibility that weak electric and magnetic field from high power transmission lines may affect biological cellular process at the cell molecules now this herp is caused by the 
थर्मल इफेक्ट ऑफ रेडिएटेड एनर्जी Now, first one is hazard of electromagnetic uh, radiation to personnel. That is potential of electromagnetic radiation to produce harmful biological effects in human. These call these are uh, these are uh, hazard of electromagnetic radiation to personnel that caused by the thermal effect of radiated energy. But the body absorbs that radiation. A significant internal heating may occur without the individual's knowledge because the body does not have internal sensation of heat, and tissue damage may occur before the excess heat can be dissipated. Now, if we consider an example that if the lens of the eye is exposed. to microwaves its circulatory system would be unable to provide sufficient flow of blood for cooling and may cause cataract also there is an another example like the stomach intestine and bladder are especially uh, sensitive to thermal damage from high power microwaves microwave frequencies for which the wavelengths are the same order of magnitude as the dimension of human body produce close coupling between the body and the microwave field a large amount of heat can be generated to cause severe damage to the body significant energy absorption will occur even when the body size one tenth of the wavelength next is hazard of electromagnetic radiation to ordnance that is hero this is the potential of electro explosive devices to be adversely affect, affected by the electromagnetic radiation here microwave energy is dangerous to ordnance like uh, open system safety and emergency devices and other equipment containing uh, sensitive uh, electro explosive devices like eeds the radiated fields can be uh, can cause unintentional triggering of uh, these electro effective devices ordnance is more sensitive uh, than human particularly because uh, they do not have uh, circulatory system to dissipate the internal heat uh, however uh, that eed can more easily be protected from the effects and rf energy than humans by enclosing them with metallic enclosures with reflected back the incident microwave energy the potential dangers to ordnance and fuels are obvious because there could be an explosive that is chain reaction by exploding consequently these limits are generally lower than personal limits now 
HERF that is hazard of electromagnetic radiation to fuel. This occurs due to possibility of accidentally igniting fuel uh, papers by RF induced areas during fuel handling operations proximity to high level RF fields. During fuel handling operation close to high power radar and radio transmitter antennas. The probability of ignition may be significant for more than 50 volt ampere etc. Now that's all for today. Today I have discussed about the application of RF and microwave. First uh, application of RF and microwave and uh, then the um, radar comes and this uh, radar can be used in application, different type of applications of RF and microwave. And uh, this is the basic principles of uh, radar principle of operation of radar and this is the radar range equation after that there are different types of application for radar that is in military air traffic control remote sensing law enforcement and highway safety c50 air safety and navigation also uh, this can be used in space or mines inspection locating underground pipes. Now that's all for today. Uh, there are also another form that SAR that is specific absorption rate and uh, then very quite radiation hazard. Thank you.